Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jiu-jitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Coran. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon, because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. These guys throwing early. Nice kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Landed. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Leg kick checked by Curran. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Lands the left punch, now followed by a right. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Came of inches right there. Wow. It was good. 
kind of dead landed. Very tricky to really go with that body kick. Misses with the right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. It's such a fast leg kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough... Oh! Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows that it talks to your toughness. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big punch land. Just missed with the left there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Curran. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's going after the head. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Curran gets touched by that kick right to the ball. Beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Try to establish that jab. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. 30 seconds to go in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Now to the next. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Final round, you ready? Yes, 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right hand upstairs. Ooh, another shot to the head. Position now what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Back to his feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. Oh! Oh! Straight right, he misses. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Left hand punch the clinch. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the strike. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee!